Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz and welcome to this new satisfactory reaction video about the new update 6 ammo types and equipment system improvements. And look, you saw the title of this video. I, I thought update 6 was gonna be a nice casual one biome change, few bug fixes, and quality of life things. And then they added nuclear weapons, so here we are. I have to react to this, right? Right. Let's watch. Things are gonna get crazy. Hi everyone, my name is Snoot. I'm one of the community managers at Coffee Slane Studios. And in today's video, I wanna talk all about the changes we're making to the equipment system and the additions we're making to weapons in Update 6. And equipment stuff. Okay. So in Update 6, we plan to add a gotcha. bunch of different ammunition types to weapons. Uh wait, 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 wait. And equipment system improvements. So I had it kind of spoiled to me, I was streaming on Twitch and someone said that nuclear weapons were coming to the game. So, I have that in my head. Equipment systems, there might be extra body slots and stuff like that. If they end up doing that, that would be the bee's knees, cat's pajamas, but you know, who knows. Anyway, that, it's a long video. Uh, the main reason here. why we want to do this is because we want to add like a little bit more variety to the weapons that exist in the game. We don't plan to, to like turn the game into like a first person shooter or anything like that. We also don't add, you know, intend but to add like much survival is. mechanics or, you know, there are giant make this spiders. into like an action game or anything like that. It is still a factory building first and foremost. Uh, but we just, we just wanted to like expand sort of the tool sets that you have when it comes to exploration and when it comes to weapons and dealing with enemies in the game essentially. Before we dive into the ammunition types, what I want to talk about are uh, some of the core changes we're making to equipment. And the first piece of equipment I want to talk about are beacons. So if you remember in the last video uh, I put yes, out, uh, you can check the cards here, you know uh -huh. what to do. Um, I talked all about... TLDR beacons going away because the new map is being updated, it's gonna be crazy. But I wonder what else will be new about them. So we plan to do away with all the usage of beacons within recipes um, oh, and beacons changing are... those recipes essentially. And this shouldn't okay. affect you too much because most of the recipe changes are tied to like when you're constructing stuff in the workshop or when you're building buildings. The only exception is one of the alt recipes for uranium fuel rods that uses beacons oh, in no. like, the production line. They're getting rid of beacons? Dude, in this production line? I had a hard drive failure, and I lost all of my notes about my nuclear power plant, so like, I don't know how it works really anymore, okay? I don't have the numbers. So if they change this, well, you know. <laughs> okay. Fine. We won't touch that yet, oh, thank but we goodness. will change that recipe in some time. some time in the unspecified future. Uh, but for update six, that uh, alt recipe won't change. But anything else that has like beacons within the recipe um, will either be gone uh, from the recipe, as in like skip that part, or we'll kind of rebalance the recipe as a whole. But like I said, it shouldn't ref affect you guys too much in your production lines because the only like recipe that I use is, mm. that's automated is that alt recipe. So the beacons will still be an equipable in the game, it will still you'll still be able to like run up to the the workbench and craft one if you want to uh, but the main thing here is that once you place a beacon it's just gonna disappear it's gone um, and and show up on the map essentially as the new marker ah, so essentially sense. what's gonna happen in update 6 is like all the beacons that exist in the world and any beacons that you may place on the map they're gonna be converted to this new system that we made with the markers rip um, beacons with it's fine. I didn't want to have to find them Once anyway. you remove a marker, it's gone. And with that being said, let's dive into some exciting changes we're making to the equipment system. And let me just press tab. Boom. And hopefully you'll see the biggest change coming up here, which is oh my multiple gosh. body slots, baby. They did it. You guessed it. We're actually going to do this for update six. We weren't they certain, but here we are. A um, mad lad, so yeah, actually we're adding did it. multiple body slots. You're going to be able to... Imagine wearing both a shirt and pants at the same time crazy absolutely crazy so head body back and legs oh that means if there's a back thing maybe you could have a backpack hmm that would be kind of neat like an adventure backpack increases your inventory if there's a head space here there's a mask in the game for sure like the gas mask but i wonder what else they might add because now kind of like the door is open right not sure 
And then body legs, you know the drill with that. Able to like equip both the jetpack and the gas mask at the same time. So nice. And like, so look dude. at me, mom. I can fly while being gas clouds at the same time. Isn't that exciting? Crazy. We've also made an update to the HUD for equipment. So when you're scrolling through the equipment slots, it will show oh, you like which convenient. which equipment you have in your hands and which one are in the list, so to speak. Big fan. And I'm about to absolutely blow your mind. Check this shit out. If you press H. What? What? It's gone. It disappeared into the void. How did he do it? He's a magician. Oh my gosh. So yeah, we've added so you can holster and all holster uh, equipment in the game now. Wow, fantastic. Can't believe we made it this far, right? Uh okay, I have a mod specifically installed to do just this because it annoyed me always having like something in front of my face. Like, dude, I just want to look the nature and stuff, man. And now it's in the game. Great round of applause. Uh, that That's probably it. You can probably stop watching the video. Nothing's gonna like All right, be cool. better than that. All right, cool. Perfect. Bye. <laughs> no. Okay. But, but let's keep going anyways and talk about the other stuff. All right, so let's talk about weapons and ammo types. So we've added a bunch of ammo types for uh, a couple of weapons in the game. Uh, specifically, we added for the rebar gun, the rifle, and the nobelisks. Uh, they've gotten a bunch of items. No better way to do it than to walk over to my little uh, shooting range that I prepared over here. Uh... <laughs> Now, a key thing I want to mention here is that a lot of the stuff that I'm about to show you here are working in progress. This is really like the current state of development for these uh, ammunition types. So they may get tweaked in the future. Um, you know, their uh, via like their visuals might not be final. Um, so just bear that in mind. All right. So the way that this works now is that if you hold R, you will get this like radial wheel and you'll be able to pick like which ammunition type you want to load uh, in the weapon. Uh, and you may remember from the Fixmus event that we added sort of this functionality for the snowballs. The reason why we added that was because we had this system in mind. I predicted it. Other ammunition types. I predicted um, it. So that's why that change uh, happened. And we couldn't really say why, uh, but here we are today telling you exactly why. So yeah, we still got the regular rebar gun. Uh, sorry, the, the regular like uh, iron rebar that the weapon comes in today uh, still functions the same way. So the first new uh, ammunition type that we've added for the rebar gun is the stun rebar. So the stun rebar is essentially shooting out another uh, rebar. Uh, what it effectively does is it gives deals a little bit of damage and it also stuns the images, uh, the enemies for a short amount of time. So this is great if you want to like stop like an enemy running away from you or uh if you want to like stun an enemy and run away yourself yo i just want to use the stun thing on other players in multiplayer man like dude multiplayer is gonna be so much more fun with different equipment in all this jazz it's gonna be a blast all right so that's the stun rebar the next one i want to talk about is the shatter rebar so the shatter rebar is essentially um it's essentially a shotgun <laughs> ah <laughs> so cool. it functions the same way as like a Typical classical shotgun in games, right? Um, so it, it, it sends That'll out- will be like, great against those stupid flies. Rebar. All right, and lastly, I want to talk about the explosive rebar. So mm. you name may suggest what this is. So this the is rebar gun the same is kinda, essentially um, a rocket launcher now. Uh, function as a regular Good. rebar, but when it collides with Approved. something- Approved. It explodes. <laughs> Very nice. fancy. Uh, this one is a lot of fun when you're like shooting enemies and you're like leading sh the shot. Um, All right, and uh, yeah, it deals a bit more damage than ASAP. the regular ones. All right, Clearly. so that's the rebar gun. Let's talk about the rifle. Before we dive into like the new ammunition types of the rifle, I just want to mention that we made some changes to the default one as well. So we've changed the uh, magazine size from 10 to 15. So you'll get a few more bullets oh, and uh, in each magazine changed. now, so you don't have to reload as often. Um, by, by the way, this animation is a bit glitchy right now. Like, there's the hand kind of disappears, but don't worry about that. This is all set up. Uh, one other key thing that we changed is that the the uh, stack size for the, the magazine is now uh, 500 instead of uh, whatever it was before. I can't remember. Oh, good. Um, so you can now carry a lot more uh, shots with you as you're out exploring. So yes. the first new magazine I want to talk go. about for the rifle is the turbo ammo. So turbo? what it essentially does is it turns the rifle into like more of a machine gun. Um, machine gun? Increased fire rate. So this is how it looks essentially. Violence? And you can release the fire rate <laughs> and like keep it going as to where it was before. Um, or you can just let it rip and just turn into Rambo for a second. Can you see the sun <laughs> so much violence. Very good. This will be fun. 
it will keep the fire rate. So like if you keep holding it like this, you can get this kind of fire rate as well. Um, <laughs> pretty neat. The last new ammunition type we're adding for the rifle is referred to as the homing. Uh, it's got a different name here, but that's gonna change. So what this does, it's kind of like, it kind of functions like the smart pistol in like Titanfall oh, cool. and stuff like that. So it will home in on uh, enemies and stuff like that. So with this, you just need to aim in the sort of direction of the, the enemy that's gonna be and expensive. then the projectiles will home into it. And last but not least, let's talk about the changes we're making to Nobelisks. So you still have the classical Nobelisk like before. Uh, please take note of the HUD, by the way. I haven't mentioned this, but the HUD also is a bit different for all the weapons and stuff. Um, so yeah, you still like the hold. When you hold it down, you'll throw further and more precise. You know, press right mouse button, you'll detonate it, et cetera, et cetera. So the first Nobelisk that I want to talk about is the Pulse Nobelisk. Nobelisk. So this one deals not a lot of damage, oh, cool. uh, but what it does is it creates like a big pulse. So when you blow it up, it will like push anything that's within like a certain radius away. Uh, this <laughs> is really great if you're like being chased by enemies and you want to like push them off cliffs and stuff like that. Next up, we have the Cluster Nobelisk. Um, War crimes. So the Cluster Nobelisk is yeah, maybe the, the name kind of tells the tale. Cluster um, munitions. It's a regular like noblest that you throw, but when it explodes, it will like split up and cluster. So it will create like a bigger bang. Oh, dude, dude, um, that's gonna be so cool. This is really cool. great for when you're clearing like debris as well. So if you have like a bunch of foliage you wanna get rid of, you can just boom, 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 and it will get rid of a bunch of stuff. Um, and it also just creates like a bigger explosion barrier essentially. So it's it's really useful for like when you have multiple enemies uh, chasing you. One. Okay. Update six drops. The first project we're working on is a new weapons factory. We are building everything in bulk. This it's gonna be crazy. I can't wait. Oh man, I cannot wait. Nobelisk that we don't have quite fully functional in the game just yet to demo is a gas nobelisk. The gas nobelisk is essentially a nobelisk that you throw and it will create oh, and like they're a gonna add a gas. gas grenade and any too. creature that's caught within this gas will like try and flee away from it. All right, and the last uh, cool. nobelisk that we want to showcase is the nuke nobelisk. <laughs> um. Finally, nuclear that weapons. doesn't look safe. <laughs> That's funny. Do it! Do it! Oh, it's beautiful. Expected. Oh, you can't just end the video like that, dude. Really? All right. Anyways, oh. now, uh, so the new uh, okay. Noblesque is essentially just a bigger regular Noblesque. So once you throw it and it explodes, it just creates like a bigger bang. Uh, this VFX is just yeah. placeholder for Pretty the record. Uh, it doesn't look epic at all. Uh, hopefully the, the actual one will look a lot cooler. So yeah, those are some of the new animation types that were added to the game. Uh, really quick bonus round, few oh. more things that I just want to show you. Bonus off, just round! Cool. Um, some additions that we made to the UI as well. So you may have noticed uh, when I'm hovering over some of these items, they've got a little bit of a different uh, description now. So for instance, for the weapons and ammunition, uh, you can see that they're displaying like their damage um, and we take a little bit how like the recipes look like and stuff like that. And in the codex, uh, we've also kind of expanded a little bit of how this functions. So now you have the option here to click to expand. Uh, oh, and it will show that. you like a bit more information about this stuff. You can also change like if I'm overclocking, like how many oh, and items it changes the number. Or if I want to say like I want to produce five per minute. Huge. You know, or, or in this case, like 10 per minute. Like what? What you had to do before is you had to make an entire machine, run the items through that machine, and then the numbers would update in it. And now you can just do it in this menu.
You can look at all the numbers you want to for overclocked machines. You can check production rates. The math is going to be a million times easier. Like, this is a good bonus round. I thought, like, dude, they showed off nukes. What more could there be? This is life-saving. Ah, oh, dude. What does that look like? Do I need 10? Okay, cool. Huge. You get that information. And one final tweak we also made to the to-do list is that, you know, once you add this to the to-do list, we made it so that you can customize this a little bit more, actually. So <laughs> now, not only with the to-do list, it also shows you, like, how many parts you need to make stuff. You can also leave, like, little notes to yourself. And when you close this menu, uh, it will still stay up in the HUD, uh, and you will still keep your notes. So you can kind of... I'm always going to have leave a like in the notes, FYI. Just begin to get used to that speaking of remember to leave a like important huh yeah you do that good all right create like little to do's for yourself and like check them off you can also do a little bit of text formatting and the cool thing too is you can add like public notes and private notes so public notes are for everyone private notes is just for you so you can be like hey everyone and then in the hud you know they will show up as like public notes and then you nice. have your private notes at the bottom Okay, so that's gonna be it for this video. I am absolutely done <laughs> recording this video now. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in, everybody. Hope you're excited for the changes that we're making. Uh, Very. Please bear in mind that a lot of the stuff that we showcase today are work in progress. So, you know, they're not fully finished, etc., etc. yada, yada, yada. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see each other soon enough. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, what's this? Bonus footage? Ah, yes. Makes sense. Well! Update 6 just got, uh, a lot more insane. It's definitely gonna be a blast. And, obviously, I'm most excited about the nuclear weapons. Like, of course, right? The turbo ammo? Pretty high up there, too. But that extra menu thing they showed at the end is gonna make my life a million times easier. Probably everybody's lives. Just because I overclock so much and it's just beautiful. Beautiful. Honestly, if this is everything in update six, I'd call this GG. This is amazing. Everything that they're gonna be adding here. I am so excited. And like I said, first thing we're doing when update six drops is, well, first of all, we're nuking the new biome, of course. And then we're building a giant weapons factory because this stuff is crazy fun. Anyway though, let me know in the comments below what you guys are most excited for. And I think that's gonna be all. So thank you so much for watching and have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye bye.